Greetings and welcome back to the For Health Scholars channel. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. My name is Dr. Arubasa and on this channel, I show current and aspiring healthcare professionals how to one, quickly and successfully earn their degrees and two, how to start, build and enjoy profitable careers within the business side of the healthcare industry. Now, today's video marks day 10 of a series that I'm calling Career Miss. And specifically, we're going to be talking about a performance improvement specialist job assignment in the healthcare industry in great detail. But before I jump into the conversation for today, here's a few words from our sponsor. Greetings, health scholars. Today's episode is sponsored by my course, which is titled From Healthcare Graduate to Hire. Now, let me ask you a few questions. Are you a professional looking to work in the healthcare industry? Or are you a current healthcare professional looking to pivot within the healthcare industry? If you just answered yes to one of the two questions I just asked, guess what? This course is right for you, and here's why. The For Healthcare Graduate to Hire course is a video program dedicated to giving you a detailed strategy and actionable steps for implementation that will take you from healthcare graduate to job seeker to hired. In addition, in this course, I'll be sharing my stories and the different job opportunities that I've had and how I landed those jobs, as well as giving you access to the top strategies I have provided over a hundred plus professionals that have helped them either land their first, next, or dream healthcare job. Now, what can you expect from the course? Well, let's have a look inside. In this course, you'll get access to a variety of video modules. And the first one is really prepping you for your job hunting process. In the job hunting process, we're gonna talk about a strategy that everyone needs because strategy is key in helping you get hired. In addition, I'm gonna go over some of the essential documents that you need to help you in the job hunting process to grab the attention of hiring managers. And it's not just your resume and cover letter. We're also gonna show you how to prepare for the interview and how to transition from different industries into the healthcare field. We'll also talk about networking and how to connect with recruiters, which leads me to some of the course bonuses that I'll be giving giving out in this course. So the first bonus is that you'll get access to an exclusive recruiter directory and which will have the name and contact information of different recruiters that you can connect one-on-one -on -one and work with them which can help you in your job hunting process. Another course bonus is that you'll get access to the For Health Scholars job board and which will be hosting and featuring jobs that are hiring like right now. Also, each month, you can go live with me via the monthly live Q&A sessions in which you can ask questions that you may have about the course or about just your job hunting process and how to get hired quickly because getting hired is the name of the game. So the course is now open. I encourage you to register today. I am running a very special promo, okay, in efforts to get you hired. Tis the season to get in paid. So once again, thank you for watching today's video. And until next time. Cheers to getting hired. All right, so we are back. And as I stated, today's conversation is focusing on the job position of a performance improvement specialist. And this is a career option for all healthcare professionals. So if you are a subscriber and you are a healthcare management, administration, public health professional, or even in the clinical side of healthcare, and you're looking to transition into the performance improvement sector, then this role may be right for you. So without further ado, let's jump into the conversation. Now do note, a performance improvement specialist really helps healthcare organizations get their operations in order. And in this role, as a performance improvement specialist, you're really there to direct all performance improvement activities to really help healthcare organizations improve their patient outcomes. And some of the ways that you do that is knowing that you have to be a really great problem solver and a patient advocate. Now, in this role, your core focus areas are a few. So you are definitely responsible for planning these performance improvement activities, consulting different departments, executive leaders, and even external stakeholders on how they can engage in performance improvement activities to help improve the overall patient care experience. You can train staff members on what it means to be uh, really taking into account performance improvement activities to transform the way that we deliver patient care services services or even ensure that patient care services are being delivered in a timely, safe, 
quality and effective manner. And of course, facilitation of workshops, trainings, programs to ensure that once again, as a healthcare organization, they're working continuously to improve their performance as it relates to hiring staff that will support them in delivering quality patient care services. Now, specifically in this role as a performance improvement specialist, you are very familiar with the PDSA performance improvement model. And in this model, you are helping healthcare organizations continuously answer three questions. What are they trying to accomplish through the delivery of their medical services? How will they know that the change is effective or has improved? And also, what change can they make to support the result of the improvement? And so we call this model PDSA, which stands for P, plan, D, do, S, study, and the A is to act. And on the screen, it just shows you this model in effect. And so under the planning uh, tier, you are focusing on the objective. What is it that you want to change? Or what is it that needs improvement? On the do, how do you carry out the activities that will help you make that improvement? The S, studying complete data sets and engaging in Dallas analyses to see what the organization organization has done before, what other organizations through research have done to help rectify this particular objective or issue that you're trying to improve. And then you act, meaning that whatever in this committee, in this train, or you as a performance improvement specialist recommends to implement to help improve the problem at hand, that they actually can engage in those activities to do so. I'm very familiar with this role because in my role as a program manager, I also served on on the Performance Improvement Committee. Um, I even did some work in quality improvement. So uh, I'm very familiar with this role. And I will tell you, it is a role that it's very dynamic. If you have the skill sets, if you have the capacity to really operate in this space, it is a wonderful and uh, one of the higher paying job titles within the healthcare industry under the business side of healthcare. So what is a performance improvement specialist job description? Let's talk about this in great detail. Well, as a performance improvement specialist, many organizations will expect you to be able to help them improve their patient care delivery outcomes. And so through your role, you'll begin to engage in assessments to see what the organization is currently doing, what are some of the loopholes or problems within that organization, and creating plans on how to implement performance improvement activities to improve on the problem that was identified or problems that were identified. And so in your role, you're heavily focusing on analyzing data, creating improvement strategies, implementing those strategies, and overseeing the whole documentation process through workshops, programs, and trainings. And then you rinse and repeat to help solve other problems in healthcare. Because as much as we know the healthcare industry, it is, is viable. It is always in demand. It is always operating operating in the same right, we do know that there are several challenges and gaps within the delivery of healthcare services across the country and in globally. So you, all of those things come into account when you are working in a performance improvement specialist role. Now, what is the typical responsibilities of a performance improvement specialist? So one, you're communicating with employees frequently about performance issues and offering coaching or solutions to help them improve on that problem. You're also working with management to do the same. And in addition to solving those problems, you will work with management to develop goals to help increase performance and productivity as an organization. And even you may do some employee satisfaction work as well conduct the employee surveys to gauge their experience in the organization and what they believe should be improved in their day-to-day -day activities and with the organization at whole, as well as analyzing data. So you have to be analytical in this role. You have to be a great critical thinker and also a person who can solve problems from a macro and micro level. Now, some of the common skills that you must possess as a performance improvement specialist, of course, having good communication skills skills, leadership skills is key, being able to educate and train people, also exuding a level of critical thinking and um, strategy analysis. Project management is also very helpful for you. So if you are a great project manager, being in a performance improvement role, particularly as a specialist, may work for you. 
Now, the educational requirements for a performance improvement specialist, it can vary, but ideally, if you have a health or business administration degree at the bachelor's level, we can transition into this role. Also, a master's degree in health or business administration is preferred, and certifications in this role is not necessarily needed. However, if you are a person who may not have a bachelor's or master's in business or health administration, but would like to pivot into a performance improvement specialist role, then a certification can help you. And one that I thought of was the Certified Professional in Healthcare Performance, and that is um, provided by the American um, Health Management Association. So just keep that in mind. Now, alternative job names for a performance improvement specialist in the event you are looking for job opportunities in this particular sector of the business side of healthcare, you can look for roles like process improvement specialist, continuous improvement specialist, or even quality improvement specialist is the same as performance improvement specialist. So once again, I'm always trying to show you what are the best ways to find jobs in a given space. And in this case, um, it is these terms also mean performance improvement so that you can quickly apply to these jobs and hopefully get hired for one of these jobs. Okay, now what is the salary requirement for a PI specialist, aka a performance improvement specialist? Well, on average, the US salary is about $72,000 per year. On the lower income side, it's about $75,000. And on the upper income tier, it's about $80,000, but it can even get into the six figures. And that is really depending on your experience, your skill sets, the education that you have, and how well you are able to to negotiate into this position. So by now, if you've been watching the series, you know that I highly stress learning how to negotiate, like never take the first offer. Now, what are some of the healthcare organizations that hire a performance improvement specialist? So definitely hospitals, they hire them. You also have um, outpatient facilities, management consulting firms, educational training firms. They too also hire performance improvement specialists. So you have a couple of different types of organizations that will hire you in this role, even governmental agencies, which is something that I'm also sharing with the subscribers on this page that don't only just look at a hospital or outpatient clinic, look at the government too. They have various healthcare jobs, including performance improvement or quality improvement um, type of jobs. So just keep that in mind. So the million dollar question, is performance improvement specialist position a right one for you? And I really would tell you, if you are an individual who has great training, management, and leadership skills, you can absolutely thrive in the space of a performance improvement specialist. When I served on the committee, I already had my master's and um, I did some uh, lean and Six Sigma trainings to help me be able to understand processes that helps healthcare organizations solve problems. I also had already had some project management experience under my belt. So I am a person who has a lot of experience in the healthcare space. I will tell you in the role of serving on a performance improvement committee and was on that committee for like a year and having to educate different staff members how to solve problems, be presenting in front of the C-suite leaders and just showing them that this is the reality of what's happening in the facility. But if we implement this process and measure it, it can really transform the way we conduct business. It can transform how much money we're generating because that was a big thing for many executives. They want to know how are we keep the money coming into the organization and how are we trying to minimize spending. So those are the things that we, we definitely explored in the performance improvement space. And it's that is not all of it. It is a very dynamic role and a high paying role. So if you're like, this sounds good to you, then I definitely encourage you to find job opportunities and apply. All right. But once again, I want to thank you for tuning in to Career Miss Day 10. We are almost getting close to the finish line, but I hope you've been enjoying the series thus far. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share this with someone who you know may be interested or need this information. And until next time, bye for now.